Hi everyone, I'm Silverwolf and this is the first of two top 10 uh, videos that I'm doing for Isabella Bruce who wanted to see some top 10s on aliens and misunderstood creatures in movies. Uh, this video comes with the shout outs to A Savage, Isabella Bruce and Isabella also asked for a shout out for Aussie Furby Mogwai fan as well. So the first video I'm going to be doing about these films is, um, is top 10 movies for um, like aliens and misunderstood creatures. So some of these aliens are just aliens that attack people and some of them will be misunderstood aliens. Uh, so we start off with District 9. Now District 9 is a personal favourite of mine. Um, it's set in South Africa um, and it's really really good. It's about a guy who, uh, well it is, it is actually about these aliens who they're all living in kind of like a slum because they've crash landed on earth and they're trying to get off but humans have kind of placed them all in this um, this sort of shanty town. They look like giant prawns and they're actually nicknamed prawns but the species of alien is called Palipwa or P Palip Palipqua. It's a very strange word. And uh, so this guy here in the picture on the on the left, his name is Vicus and he's the main character in the film. Um, the aliens are misunderstood. They're just trying to get home. They're just trying to live their lives but of course humans can't let them do that because people just like to experiment on anything that's new or different. Um, they, a lot of the fans who watched this film wanted to see a sequel because there was, uh, the end of the film did suggest that there, there would be a sequel, District 10. There is a sequel in the works. It's been in the works for a long time, but, um, the fans are very much looking forward to it, as am I. Uh, it's a very good film. Um, and I highly recommend it, really, uh, to anyone, actually. It's, it's very good. Um, so, the next film we have is X-Men. Now, any of the X-Men films, X-Men are misunderstood creatures, they're mutants. Um, so, for those of you who don't know, X-Men is from the Marvel Universe, and the whole idea is that when certain children hit puberty, um, the X gene inside them that they have inherited from mostly the fathers, um, kind of comes into play and they start to develop powers when they hit puberty. So uh, they, they've all got different powers. I really love X-Men. I've loved it for years. It's my favourite Marvel thing. Um, I know quite a lot about the characters and the history of it. I won't go into it here because I don't want to bore you. Uh, my favourite X-Man is this one here on the far left, Nightcrawler, um, in, in the blue. He has blue skin. In the comics he actually has blue sort of fuzzy fur, but they gave him skin in the, uh, the film X-Men 2. He was played by Alan Cumming and a fun fact is Alan said he would not repri reprise the role unless he had a paper bag over his head because he spent so long in makeup. Not as long as the one on the far right though, Mystique, the blue woman. She actually spent like something ridiculous like 12 hours in makeup for the first film so it was quite gruelling. But um, X-Men are misunderstood because of course anyone who's different gets counted out in society and uh, people don't like them, they don't trust them, or it's different, let's fear it. So anyone with mutant powers is kind of shunned. Next is Spirited Away. A film, it's an anime by Studio Ghibli. It's one of the cult movies out there. It's very, very good. It's over two hours long, and it's the only animated film I've ever seen in my life that you feel like you've literally been on a journey with the girl, um, Chihiro, as she goes to this land of spirits. So again, aliens, misunderstood creatures. They're not aliens, but they are a little bit misunderstood. Each of these spirits has a special place in Japanese folklore and um, they've all got kind of, you know, different powers and they, they are all to do with different meanings and things. So um, again, misunderstood. And she finds out that they're not actually bad, they're just living their lives. And the thing I like about this film is that none of the characters are bad, they are just doing what they do. So there, there is no bad thing and the whole thing is at the beginning Chihiro is very shy and she's afraid to try new things and by the end of the film she's got confidence and she's, you know, she's learnt to not be afraid of things that are new and different and that's through the help of these spirits. So the next film we have is Megamind. Some people hate it, some people love it. Um, I like Megamind because I can relate to him. Um, the idea is he's an alien who crash lands on Earth along with another alien. The other alien becomes like a Superman kind of person saving the world. But Megamind was bullied and stuff and treated badly as a kid. He tried to fit in and no one wanted to know. So he decided, fine, I'm just going to become evil then. 
and uh, so he became evil. And, well, he's not really evil, to be fair. Again, misunderstood. He's just doing it because he feels that's the thing he should do, not because it's it's the thing that uh, he wanted to do in the first place. In the first place, he just wanted to make friends with people. Uh, so, a misunderstood alien in that one. The next one is Transformers. Now, I personally, I have seen the first two Transformers films, and I loved them. The third one, I didn't like and I never watched the rest. I do like the Transformers as a franchise. It's a very good kind of uh, series. Again, they're aliens, and to be fair, they are a bit misunderstood. You've got the good guys, the Autobots, and the bad guys, the Decepticons, and they're always normally fighting over a thing called the Allspark. And um, they can transform into vehicles. They're robots, but they're kind of sentient robots. They are... Um, you know, kind of like, if you like living robots, but they're also aliens as well. So um, I thought that was a good example. Uh, number six is Ferdinand. I like Ferdinand. It's a fun family film about a friendly bull. Again, he's misunderstood. He's a misunderstood creature. Uh, he just wants to be friends with everyone, but he's, uh, he's living in Spain, of course, where they have bullfighting, and he's raised in this place that kind of, I don't know if they breed bulls for fighting, but they certainly train them for the ring. So um, he just doesn't want to fight. He's determined not to fight. And he's misunderstood because there's a scene in the film where he, uh, basically he escapes this place and he meets this girl and her father and he grows up with them. And he gets bigger and bigger and he doesn't really realise that other people are frightened of him. So he goes to the town uh, for this flower festival when he was told not to. And he's in the middle of the town and everyone's screaming and running away because, oh my god, a bull, it's going to charge at us. Um, and basically he doesn't really know what to do because he can't understand why everyone's running away and then he gets recaptured. And so he he's back in being trained to be a bull in the fighting ring again. I won't give away the rest of the story, but that's why I felt that this film belonged in this top ten. Uh, number seven is Men in Black. It's film, well, it's... I think they did about four films. Um, the, the most recent one, which is Men in, Black, uh, Men in Black International, which I saw at the cinema the year before last. I like all the films. I, I personally like the first one best. The second one was okay. The third one, not so much. But I did enjoy the fourth one. I didn't think I would, but I did. There's lots of aliens in Men in Black because basically they're here to protect the world from the scum of the universe as a uh, sort of slogan goes. So lots of aliens there, some of whom are misunderstood. And then we got a favourite from the 80s. It's Alf, aka Gordon Shumway. Um, he, this is a sitcom to do with an alien who crash lands to Earth and he sort of lives with this family and causes mischief and havoc. And I think they did three series of, of the TV show. Uh, no, sorry, four series. I have them all on DVD. But they also did at the very end a movie to try to tie it all together at the end. Because for people who are fans of Alf, he does get captured by the FBI at the end of season four. And so the, the film is basically them questioning him and blah de blah I don't think they did anything more with it afterwards, but it also had like a spin-off cartoon series as well. Again, Alf is an alien and he's misunderstood. He's actually very friendly and very fun, but he does like eating cats. So number nine is Arrival. Now, Arrival was a film I saw some years ago in the cinema. And it stayed with me because um, basically these strange kind of monoliths appear around the world and no one knows what they are and they can't get into them, etc. Anyway, humans do find a way to sort of communicate with these, their alien spacecraft and finally get to meet these aliens. And it's kind of a slow moving film, but basically these aliens are here. They are misunderstood. They are here to warn people of the damage they're doing to their planet. And that was why I liked it, because the aliens weren't bad. You expect at the end of the film the aliens to just kill all the people, but no. They were here to actually warn people to just kind of like treat their planet a bit better. And that's why I felt this one belonged here. Finally, we've got number 10. It's Avatar. Uh, again, aliens, misunderstood aliens. These are native people living on a planet. And humans go and start drilling and um, they, they, they're trying to mine the planet and get all this... Um, it's like an ore 
that's that's worth a lot of money again human greed and they're going to destroy anyone who stands in their way and these poor aliens are just trying to live their lives um but humans obviously won't have it they just want to destroy everything for money um luckily the film has a happy ending there's supposed to be i think two or three more films that they're working on based on the first one but um they've taken an awful long time to come out i think the first one's been out for like 11 years or 12 years now and james cameron who's the director um he hasn't he hasn't actually finished i don't know if he's finished the second or third the second one was meant to come out last year but because of the pandemic i guess it didn't so it's set to come out at the end of this year but it's probably going to be next year by this time so but yeah it's um a little bit like um what humans have done to their own planet um you know destroying all the native people or um just being greedy and stuff like that only this time it's aliens on another planet so again misunderstood so i hope you haven't minded my rambling about these films they're all films i enjoy and I felt that they were pretty good for the top 10. They're in no particular order, it's just 10 films. I couldn't really rank them because I like all of them. And I don't really know which film particularly stands out above the rest. But they're all films about aliens and misunderstood creatures. That might be worth checking out if you like these kinds of things. Um, pretty much all of them are family movies apart from District 9. Um, Arrival might be scary for like kids or something um but i'm an adult so i've chosen i mean then none of them are particularly violent or anything they're all fairly safe movies to watch um i don't know the age of people who would be watching this but anyway um check them out if you if you like the idea of any of them so that's all for this video uh, as always feel free to check out my etsy and new monday stores if you want to check out my plushies or you can buy me a coffee on ko-fi if you wish links are in the description and stay safe, stay healthy, and keep being awesome. This is Silver signing off.